Hello there and welcome to IMTV and the Industrial Minerals News Programme. Coming up, China may consolidate flake graphite industry within five years. Demand for refractory minerals set to increase. And fracking not the major cause of earthquakes, according to research. First today, China's flake graphite industry could be consolidated within the next five years. It follows a model established in the country's amorphous sector, which has begun to incorporate small private producers into larger mining firms. This consolidated model has already been applied to Chinese rare earths and phosphate mining, which both saw mine closures and buyouts of small companies in 2012. Hu Zhang, president of amorphous producer South Graphite, one of the country's consolidation success stories, said if it goes ahead, the move could see a temporary reduction in flake graphite production, as mines will have to shut down while the process is completed. He also added there's unlikely to be an overall reduction in volumes in the long run, although there will be more emphasis on producing high-value products rather than raw materials. It's thought that Hai Longzhang, China's richest graphite producing province, will be the next target for consolidation. That's because reserves in Shandong, the country's oldest major flake region, are dwindling. China's government's expected to target its largest and most modern graphite companies as takeover vehicles to lead the consolidation process. Demand for refractory minerals such as alumina, andaliasite, bauxite, graphite, magnesia and zircon is expected to increase during 2012 in line with a 2.9% rise in global steel use. According to the latest World Steel Short Range Outlook for 2013 and 2014, this growth will continue into next year, with steel demand rising a further 3.2% to reach 1.5 billion tonnes. Steel markets were hit hard in 2012 by the unsettled economic climate. Factors like the Eurozone crisis, a potential US fiscal cliff, a hard landing for the Chinese economy and tough macroeconomic conditions around the world caused demand to drop 6.5%. So far this year, the key risks to the global economy have stabilised and World Steel expects a recovery in demand to kick in by the second half led by emerging economies. Global crude steel production is an important sector for industrial minerals and is the largest end market for refractory minerals. French minerals conglomerate Imeris has announced the purchase of Pyramax Ceramics based in Texas. The acquisition means Imeris will now own a new 200,000 square foot propens facility in Georgia, which the company says will be gradually ramped up to produce 225,000 tonnes of propens per year by the end of 2014. The new facility is near its Sanders Volcaelin mine, as well as the company's 100,000 tonnes per annum propent manufacturing facility, both of which are based in Georgia. Imaris has invested 235 million US dollars in the Pyramax acquisition, which has the potential to be increased by the end of 2014, although additional investment will not exceed 100 million US dollars. The ceramic propens produced by Pyramax and Imeris are used to keep fractures in hydrocarbon reservoirs open. They're used in the unconventional gas market, which has seen a surge of interest in recent years, especially in the US, but also more recently across Europe. And don't forget, there's still time to sign up for the IM Propent Prospects for Europe roundtable discussion taking place at the end of this month in London. To register, simply go to the event website or contact Ismini Clark at iclark at indmin.com. Group DF, a collection of companies chaired by Ukrainian businessman Dmitry Firtash, has confirmed a 120,000 tonnes per annum sulphate root titanium dioxide pigment plant will be constructed at its Titan facilities near the Black Sea coast in Ukraine. Existing capacity at Titan will also be increased to 120,000 tonnes per annum of titanium dioxide from its current capacity of 40,000 tonnes. The new plant will begin production at 80,000 tonnes per annum and ramp up to the full 120,000 rate. Titan is not seeking to upgrade to chloride technology, but is instead looking to make its niche in the sulphate industry, much like fellow European sulphate producer Saxelban. 
The sulfuric acid for the process will be supplied by Titan's recently upgraded 600,000 tonne per annum sulfuric acid plant, which the company commissioned in 2012. Hatch and TZMI are working on the feasibility study for the new plant, and once complete, Crimea Titan will begin seeking an equipment supplier. And finally, UK scientists studying earthquakes caused by human activities such as mining and oil drilling have concluded that hydraulic fracturing for shale oil and gas is not a major cause of tremors. Research published by a team from Durham University in the Journal of Marine and Petroleum Geology suggested that most fracking events only release the same amount of energy as a human jumping off a ladder. The researchers from the university's Energy Institute said while pumping fracking liquid does have the potential to reactivate dormant fault lines, the practice is a less significant cause of surface vibrations than many other human activities, such as mining or filling reservoirs with water. The team did state, however, that well bores drilled for fracking is of much greater concern when it comes to disturbing the stability of underground rock and potential well leakage. The research will be welcomed by the global fracking industry, which has long been criticised for its potential to cause earth tremors. Now, before we go, just one final reminder to sign up for the Propent Prospects for Europe roundtable. The web address is www.indmin.com forward slash oilfield minerals london and of course you can set up an im corporate account giving you and your staff access to all the latest industrial minerals intelligence just contact hamish dobson well that's all we have time for this week if you have any comments or feedback we'd love to hear from you you can get in touch via twitter at indmin or contact us through our website www.indmin.com Thanks for watching and see you again soon.